What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It has been really, really wet. It's had a storm over the past two days, so I didn't really want to do anything but lay in bed and sleep and play COD. I'm gonna put on my coils, finally. It's not much space in my garage right now, so I'll probably do one side at a time. The right front, move the car, do the left front, because I don't want to put the other car outside because it might storm again. And yeah, let's get these coils on. Cars all jacked up. Got one question though. Why do tire shops always put on wheel nuts so freaking tight? I almost broke my back trying to take that off. Cars jacked up. I'm gonna get the coils out. You're gonna take the wheel off and I'll show you guys what to do. I'm not 100% sure on what tools and like what sizes I need, but I'll tell you guys on the way. I just sprayed WD-40 on all the bolts and nuts I'm gonna take off this one here and that for the brake line. Just let that soak in. While I'm letting that soak in, I'm just gonna take off the strut bar. I just I could get to the top bolts of the struts. Strut bars off. These are the nuts you need to get access to, and these ones over here. We're gonna put on the right front one first. It's gonna be the McPherson struts. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Please do not be a to put on. Let's go. Let's do this first. I'm gonna put that jack underneath this control arm, just so it pushes the spring up and it releases a little bit of tension to take that nut out. I'm gonna take that off and the three nuts up here. Just do all the brake lines and stuff. Make sure you take all the brake lines off and don't kink any brake lines because that could be a really, really bad day. To take the bottom part off, I'm using a 19 mil socket on this end and then a 21 mil spanner on this end for that nut that's here. That should take that out. I got this little nut off. That's a 19 mil. There's these three bolts that go in here. That's holding this bracket that you have to take off to get the shock absorber out. This stud is part of the sway bar end link. So you have to jack up the whole assembly because even if the car is like stationary, the sway bar is still under tension. So you need to play around with the, the height of this, take off the, the tension of the stud. Go and take off all these brake lines now. to the brake line and the ABS line. So the ABS line is this and it sticks into those forks right there. Pop those out. Now we need to get this strut off. Yeah, always. Every single time when I'm working on my car, always have to bleed, always have to bleed. <laughs> Got one side out. Took a bit of messing about because, yeah. It's out. Now I'm gonna put the, the new ones in. I got cut so many times. Just gonna adjust them. I'm just gonna try and adjust them and see how everything looks and see how much ride height it is. And I'll, I think I'll adjust them on the car. That's the old strut. That's new ones. That's callovers. The thing that was really pissing me off was this. The sway by end link stud. That was really pissing me off. Took me so long to figure it out. All right, so I just measured there is a bird in my garage right now. Excuse me, can you please get off my car? Wow, okay. So I just measured both struts. The factory one was 600 mil and the coilovers, the previous guy adjusted it to, to 570 mil, a 30 mil drop, which is about an inch 
one, which is pretty much what I want to go with. I think I'll just smack that on. I'll see how it drops and if it's how I want it to look, then I'll leave it. I'm excited to put these on now. All right, let's finally chuck these on. Reinstall all the brake lines and all the ABS lines, chuck the bracket back on, bolt everything up. Torque everything up, the bottom nut where the end link goes in, that's 80 foot pounds ish. I put 84 foot pounds and the top ones are 30 foot pounds. It's time to put the wheel back on and time to see how low this goes. Actually, I might do the other side, put both on and see how it drops. That bolt literally took an hour. Oh, it's off. Oh, that took so long. I don't want to do the rest. <laughs> That wasn't as bad as the first time. Yes, I put a hand because my hair's trash right now. We're done. I completely forgot to show you guys what it looked like before. Pretty sure I've got some clips somewhere, so I'll insert it in the video somewhere. Both front callovers are on. Oh, I'm so happy that's done. It actually looks really, really nice. It's a nice clean drop. It's not too much. I think I might keep it how it is. Yeah, I just want to get these callovers on. With these rear callovers, they're not the same as the front. These ones are, they're the separate type, which is the struts and the springs are separate. It's not like the fronts where they're combined in one unit. Apparently the rears are much easier. In the back here, there's a spring there and there's the strut. All you need to take off is this bucket that holds a spring which is this bolt and there's a nut at the back there as well as the bottom of this strut that and there those two nuts up there as well i'm not sure if you have to take off any brake lines or anything i don't think you have to pretty simple we'll hope for the best wd-40 is soaking in just want to ask if you guys have callovers out there what callovers do you guys have and what height you guys are running my fronts are 1.1 inches and i haven't measured the rears yeah i'm around there kind of like it but i think I want another 10 mil lower. I'm 130 mil off the ground. The legal height is 100 mil. I'll see how I drive around with this height. Just because this car is a daily, I drive it everywhere, every single day. Also, if you guys haven't liked this video, go down there and smash that like button for me. And while you're there, smash that subscribe button. Your boy is gonna have some good videos soon. And also, YouTube will not show this video. So smash that all down there. Now let's go and smash the rear end. With the rear, you're gonna need a 17 mil for this bolt here, this bolt here, and the nut at the back. These two up here are a 12 mil. Took off the rears, literally took me 10 minutes. Just gonna measure everything and see what the drop is. So hard to do this one hand. So this here is 75, 3, 10. 
So that's another like inch drop, the same drop as the front. I'm gonna chuck these on and we're done. is in oh that looks so good that looks so good and clean and it was raining oh hi rambo rambo let's do this side and then we're done Both are in. Alright, let's quickly chuck both the wheels on and let's see how much this drop is. All my callovers are in. How the rears are actually a really good height. Literally just my tires. I've got whack tire sizes. I am gonna change my tire size a bit later. I'll show you guys all round. That is the front. These are the other front. Here is the rear. The other rear. Fronts are a good height for me, but the rears, it's just the tires because I'm running five mil under. As always guys, cheers for watching the video. Cheers for tuning in and hope you guys enjoyed that install. I haven't done a large install like that in a while. If you guys haven't already, smash that subscribe button and that like button and the post notifications while you're there. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.